Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP6 Data Center Virtualization Training Videos and this is the 16th video of this series and in this video I'm going to show you how to do vMotion and storage vMotion. So in last video we have configured the vMotion uh, uh, distributed switch on all the three ASXOs which we are configured. If you, if you have not checked the last video just go and check the last video to uh, uh, configure the pre-request for vMotion and storage vMotion. So so here is my demo environment we are using four five virtual machine total the first one is win 2k12 dc01 which is my active directory server basically if i go here you can see active directory and dns role is installed on this server and click on local server you're able to see the host name and domain name just wait for a few seconds so here is the computer name win 2k12 dc01 and my domain name is victor info soul so this is my active directory domain server and i have vCenter 6 server which is my active uh, vCenter server basically and I have installed vCenter server on this machine and also I have installed vSphere client and vSphere web client on this machine so you can see I have logged into my vCenter web client and vSphere client on this machine and the next one is my 3 ESXs which is ESXi 01, 02 and 03 you can check out here so ESXi 01 and here is my ESXi 02 and my ESXi 03 so all are running uh, VMware ESXi 6.0.0 so and my uh, storage which is coming from my ISKC learn from my Starwind and I have installed uh, Starwind uh, uh, virtual, uh, virtual SAN on my physical machine you can see Starwind is running here and I'm getting the three learns from like uh, ISKC Starwin. So this is all about the infrastructure which we are using uh, from last few videos. So in this video we are going to discuss the about the vMotion and storage vMotion. So what is the difference uh, between vMotion and storage vMotion? So the first thing is vMotion. vMotion is basically migrating the active state of virtual machine from you can say from one uh, ESX host to another ESX host and you can see the first step here change the computer resource only this means uh, this is can be called as a, a vMotion because my uh, you can see here migrate the virtual machine to another host or cluster so basically vMotion is uh, migrating the virtual machine from one ESX host to another ESX host or cluster so and storage vMotion means we are migrating the storage along with the uh, virtual machine so you, you can the third you can see the third option here change both computer resource and storage means may, we are going to migrate this virtual machine from one specific host to another specific host or cluster and their storage and a specific a specific data set uh, data stored uh, from a data store or a cluster data store so this is the main difference migrating one virtual machine from ESX host to another ESX host is called vMotion and storage vMotion migrating the vM uh, virtual machine by uh, along with its like storage from one data store to next data store so let's see this in you know, production so I have two virtual machines here you can see Win2K12 VM01 and Win2K1202 if you go here you can see the uh, the first one you can see the it's uh, my VM uh, Win 2K12 VM01 which is running on ESX1 so what I'm going to do I'm going to just migrate this machine from my ESX host 1 to ESX host 3 so before migrating you have to must have to check the uh, machine which you are going to migrate uh, from ESX host to another ESX host have the compatible like uh, VNet configured properly like you have the all the NIC, uh, network which is available on your ESX host current ESX host and destination ESX host so it will be uh, however it will be checked and verified during the migration so I'm going to select my machine which is running on um, ESX i01 when to get 12 VM01 so right click and go click and migrate so 
you can see here we have uh, basically three options and the one uh, the last one is option is disabled here change both the host and data store so we will do this from our web client later on so the first task I want to migrate this uh, machine to from one ESX host to another so change host and uh, in the same time I'm going to show you the ping results for my mic uh, during the migration which is going to be changed so here I am going to ping the my machine win win 2k 12 vm 01 and put the t minus t to continuous ping so you can see the my ping response is coming in um, like uh, it's uh, one ms only so I'm going to change the host right now so click on change host and just select the ESX on which you want to migrate so I want to migrate on ESX 3 so y you can see the compatibility validation success means I, I have all the prerequisites to migrate this machine from ESX host 1 to 3 so run it and the, here is the priority something like you want to uh, put this uh, machine migrate this machine on which priority so highly priority means recommended so go with the default one and just click on migrate and here you can see the migrate virtual machine is running and it's preparing and now it's initializing the machine is active state migrate active machine and now you can see the here is some delay in uh, ping response for virtual machine because the migration is going on for the machine f uh, basically V motion is in um, place so it will take some time and once the migration is done you can see the uh, latency is is, is like uh, not available there so if we have one p uh, RTO here during the migration V motion so almost done so now you can see the machine is migrated successfully and you can see the ping response is also also is now normal and we have successfully migrated virtual machine from ESX1 to ESX3 so this is the basically uh, migrating virtual machine only so now I'm going to do you can see the uh, my uh, uh, VM01 is running on my LAN2 so I'm going to change the data store basically the files Mm, from uh, stores learn zero uh, learn two to learn one so do it right now click on machine and go to migrate and this time I want to change the data store so basically storage motion so click on next and we have all the mig all the learns are listed here so I want to migrate it to from learn two here you can see to learn one so go with it click next validation is success we are good to go and current is the current location the learn one so go with the command now you can see the relocate virtual machine is running and initializing virtual machine live migration and uh, a migrate virtual machine activated so everything basically the f uh, the folder which is contained on you can see here our folder win 2 get 12 vm01 is going to migrate from learn 2 to learn 1 so it will take some time because uh, it need to copy the all all the data from like uh, related to virtual machine that's around 42 GB from this uh, from learn 2 to learn 1 so it it will take some time so I'm pausing the recording here once the relocation for virtual machine is done we'll be right back and we'll show you the further like uh, once the re, uh, once the uh, VM has been moved from like learn 2 to learn 1 so pausing the recording here so now you can see the relocate virtual machine is completed and our virtual machine is now moved to on LAN 1 so both the machine are, LAN, uh, are using LAN 1 if you want to check out go to like 
here you can see the both uh, uh, learn to is almost free uh, it's around only 1 GB used so all the virtual machine is moved on LAN 1 also you can verify from here VM 01 and VM 02 on, on um, like stored on LAN 1 so the next thing we have to do is like moving the virtual machine and storage of virtual machine at the same time so for that I want to do one thing I want to uh, like migrate VM uh, 01 and this is storage too so what I want to do I want to migrate this machine on my ESX host 01 and on uh, LAN 02 so for now if you go go on LAN 02 you can see there was nothing on LAN 2 no mach machine and the ESX host is also free so let's do it select the change both host computing resource and store select the compute resource first so click next and we have to select the compute resource I want to put on ESX01 so it's checking the validation compatibility check success so everything all the hardware configuration has passed now we have to select the virtual machine disk format so I want to move it to my LAN1 oh sorry LAN2 here you can see the free space is 219 out of 220 GB so select and click next and so we have to select also the network if you want to do so I don't want to migrate the machine from network so leave the machine on same network click next and we have the select vmotion priority schedule vmotion with high priority recommended so I'm going to with the recommendation only click next and now what we are going to do we are going to migrate our ESX virtual machine uh, VM01 to ESX01 uh, and from LAN1 to LAN2 so click on finish and now you are able to see here migrate virtual machine is relocate virtual machine is running and it's almost 23 percent done so uh, this migration will do storage uh, vmotion along with the storage vmotion so it will migrate the storage and virtual machine both so it will take some time once it's done I will let you know the uh, information here so for now I'm pausing the recording here so once the migration is done we will check out together so so relocate virtual machine task is now completed and you are able to see the our VM01 has been migrated to um, ESX01 uh, and this storage is also migrated to LAN2 so in this video we have successfully uh, done the um, storage vmotion vmotion and both together storage and vmotion so that's all about in this video so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail ID thank you once again bye bye